Hi guys, how's it going? I'm uh, back today with another Fairy Loot unboxing. And this, the theme for September, um, was actually Star-Crossed Swoons. And this is the lovely spoiler card art here. It's gorgeous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. And... What is this? Temper us in fire and we grow stronger. When we suffer, we survive. Oh, they're matches. This, these are really long matches. Okay, so yeah, it's just a little matchbook. Which will come in handy. Um, I absolutely love candles. So these these will actually be really nice um, when you get like the tall candles once they get down towards the bottom. Because those can be kind of hard to light, honestly. So yeah, this is just a cute little matchbook. Okay, that's different. I mean, this it's useful, but I, it's not really something I expected to come in the crate. Hello. Hi, baby. Sorry, my pup decided to come in and join this. You want to say hi? No, say hi. No, oh, baby. Can hang out okay sorry about that it's my pup crunch and then let's see our next thing which is from the shadow hunters would it really be a video if i didn't drop something um is the love rune symbol of two people's love it's an enamel pin and i don't know if you really see it but that is glittery so that's cool oh i'm sorry the um the quote on the match box was from Cassandra Claire, by the way. And let's see what else we have here. Oh, Quartz of Prithian exclusive shoelaces. That's cool. Oh, that is so cool. There's little symbols here for the different quartz. That's so cool. So, like, this is just, this is, like, a lot, I mean, the pin, like, I've seen pins in boxes before, but, like, the shoelaces and matches is stuff I've never seen in, like, a book crate before. It's this. Cocoa and Shea Butter Stargazer Lily Scent. For hands and body, melt on skin contact, rub gently into skin. Vegan friendly, cruelty free, keep away from heat. This is Mal and Alina. So this is, like, a, a block. Perfume? Oh, it's shaped like a heart. That's cute. So it's like a shea butter body perfume, I guess? Or is it just supposed to be lotion? I think it's just like a scented, I think it's just a scented cocoa and shea butter, which it's really moisturizing and nice. And it is just kind of a pleasant scent. You can hear the little paws, the dogs are playing. But yeah, that has a nice smell to it. And like, if you've never used like actual shea butter, like it's really nice. Ooh. Next we have a candle here. Does it say who it's from? It just says Fairy Loot. So I guess Fairy Loot just made this candle, but it's actually Bella and Edward from Twilight series. It's crisp apple, pine, and cedarwood. I do like the, the label. Here that they put on it. And let's take a sniff of that. Mm. I really get the apple. Maybe a little bit of the woodsy, but mostly apple there. And it does have some nice glitter in it. So that's cool. I will never turn down a candle. So I said when I got the matches, I love candles, so. The more the merrier. I love just to have them in my house because they smell so amazing. Next we have a notebook here. It says, no matter where we are, we'll always share the same sky. We'll always be guided by the same constellation. Ooh, sorry, do not realize that glare. There you go, sorry about that. And it's just blank pages, no lines or anything. So... That's so pretty though. I love the design on that. Such a pretty design. And let's 
see that up there. Oh, I think I know what this is. Um, I think it was maybe two months ago, I want to say. Um, they sent a tea towel in one of the crates, and they realized after they were sent out that the print on the tea towel was backwards. Like it was printed backwards. So, her spine was steel, her heart was armor for extra power yeah so this is just the replacement for that so that this actually doesn't have anything to do with this box um but they did they were kind enough to send out replacements for those since they were misprinted so that's all this is not actually themed with this box so i'll just set that to the side here Ooh, but it looks like we do get something that is pretty and printed what is this what is this? Oh, is this an apron? <gasps> it's an apron. Dream up something wild and improbable. Something beautiful and full of monsters. From Strange the Dreamer by Laini Taylor. Can't talk. This is so pretty. I love the print on this. Let me back up a little bit here. That is so cute. He just has an over the head and like the ties for on the back, but that's so pretty. I actually have a couple aprons. I have a Wonder Woman apron, of course, and a um, Marie Antoinette inspired apron that I got from a Lit Joy crate. So that was really fun. I got some little paper type goodies. What do we got here? Okay, so we have cool like feather bookmark here on the back it says the legend begins book one in a brand new series from the number one best-selling author to tamora pierce tempests and slaughter just coming out whoops sorry or actually i guess it came out on september 20th 2018 but i really like that just as a bookmark i like the feather that looks really cool Sorry, I see some of the detail on it. So that's cool. Even if you're not really interested in the book, that's a nice bookmark. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, and the next we have a Muse of Nightmares postcard. That's cool. If um, if you enjoy sending postcards, or maybe you just want this to keep and collect, that's really neat. Man, God, there's so much like little little stuff in this. And then it looks like we also have Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare, The Dark Artifices, book three. So this is an exclusive sneak peek from The Queen of Air and Darkness for those that are interested in that series. It's actually a decent little book, a little length here. It's 21 pages, so not huge, but I mean, that's a nice little preview there, so, and it is a, looks like a fairy loot exclusive there. Also, Shadowhunters TV second series streaming now on Netflix, so that's cool. And then it looks like we have maybe some, like, character art. Ooh, these are pretty. Okay. Oh, these are pretty. So it looks like different, um, from different things. I wonder if this one is actually from this month book, maybe? And then here, I'm trying to think of what all of these are, but honestly, it's not all that I recognize, but they're gorgeous. Said so art is always one of my favorite things. I just need to find a good way to display it. I'm thinking that's probably Moral Instruments. And then going to assume a quarter of thorn, thorns and roses looks like rise and fira so yeah we have some cool just like character cards which of course go with the theme of star-crossed swoons or star-crossed lovers and on the back of these they actually have a cool star print so everything keeps with the theme <laughs> and then i think our last item here is just our book 
knocked off that whole box now because it's empty. So let's, can I drop something? No. Get this little, the little paper, paper bits. See if I can get this out here. I do like these, the bags that they send the books in, but sometimes I have a little trouble getting them out. I'm afraid of messing something up. Okay, oopsie. More little paper bits. Okay, so it looks like we have some bookmarks. And our little book here, I'll take a look at that in a minute. Okay. I kind of wondered, and it looks like I was correct. This month's book is Mirage. Um, this is a gorgeous exclusive cover um, in the spray pages, of course. They are purple. It looks like the hard cover. It's also a little different. Ooh, it is bright purple to match the pages. So that's gorgeous. Just playing on the front and the spine here. And sorry, I'm laughing because I actually had a feeling that this month I was going to get at least one repeat. Um, because this fairy loot did Starcross Swoons um, and Alcrate for September did Masters of Disguise. And they both sent the same book. But the fun part is they are both actually exclusive editions. So they both have different covers, even from the original. And they are both signed by the author. But this one has a special signature page. Um, and Al Crates is just plain. Actually, I'll show it to you in a second here. But let me go over the book itself here. So I'll read this. It's the crown of Dia Had... <laughs> Dia had been stripped from me, my face changed, my body broken, but I was not a slave and I was not a spare. I was my mother's daughter and I would survive and endure. I would find my way back home. In a star system dominated by the brutal Vathek Empire, 16-year-old Amani is a dreamer. She dreams of what life was like before the occupation and receiving a sign from Dia that one day she too will have adventures and travel beyond her isolated moon. But when adventure comes, it's not what she expects. She's kidnapped and taken in secret to the royal palace. There she discovers she's nearly identical to the cruel half vathic Princess Marim. The princess is so hated by her conquered people that she requires a body double to appear in public, ready to die in her place. As Amani is forced into her new role, she can't help but enjoy the palace's beauty and her time with the princess princesses fiancé Idris, but the glitter of the royal court belies a world of violence and fear, and she soon realizes that one wrong move could lead to her death. So yeah, it, I said, like, I've already read that synopsis, and it does seem like an interesting book. Um, do they have, yeah, we had a couple other little things here. We have a Mirage bookmark, which is the special print here. In the back says, they took her from her home, erased her name, enslaved her people, but they can't take her dreams. So that's nice. And then we also have another bookmark that has the Starcrossed Spoons theme name and the spoiler card art on it. And a letter from the author here with more art. So... There's that if you like to read it. Come pause it there. And then I want to see if it shows. See, they don't show what the book looks like, the original look like. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you just as comparison since I happen to have it here. So obviously this is the copy that came in Fairy Loop. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. This is actually the copy that came in my Alcrate. <laughs> so they are very different. And so this was an exclusive cover as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. The original is actually like, this is you know black and gold. The original is actually purple and gold, which I'm kind of assuming is where they got like the purple from here. Um, and also the purple and gray looks really good together, by the way. Um, but <laughs> it's just funny, I actually have the same. As long as, it, with the amount of time that I've been doing this and getting at least two, it's been like probably close to a year now. And this is actually the first time that I've 
gotten two of the same book, surprisingly. Um, it almost happened back in June or July with Lit Joy Crate and Owl Crate, but it just happened to be a month I skipped for Lit Joy, so that's just really funny. <laughs> And then, um, last but not least, I do want to take a look and see what next month's theme is. And it is Beautiful Deceptions for, I should say, next month. It's really this month. I know this is getting out a little late, but I'm sorry. It's been a lot going on. So, October's theme is Beautiful Deceptions. This theme is based on stories and characters that have been built around beautiful deceptions. Twists and turns that you just didn't expect. This box features items inspired by Six of Crows, The Cruel Prince, the Winner's Curse, Red Queen, and Throne of Glass. We absolutely adore the mix of items in this box, and we think you guys will be in love with them too. They are really special, and we've been working on them for months. The book we are featuring is a stunning fantasy novel inspired by Asian mythology, where a girl is taken from her home to become a concubine to a demon king, along with eight other girls. It's a story about finding strength, fighting for freedom, and love. Sorry, I feel like I should have another comment there. Early reviewers have been raving about this book. Sorry, the comma thing always messes me up. This edition is going to be an exclusive cover, sprayed edges, and will be signed. So, yay for more special editions. I love the special edition books. It's just nice to have, you know, that extra uniqueness to it. So, I feel like there's so much, like, paper stuff in this month's box with the with the prints, all the prints, and the book preview, and the, that, and multiple bookmarks, and then of course the actual spoiler cards and stuff. So lots of paper th things in this month's box, but also useful things as well, such as matches and the shoelaces, and our cocoa and shea butter, and the candle, and of course our little enamel pin here so oh and how can i forget the apron also came with the apron which is awesome again i really love this print and it really goes with the star crossed spoons like very starry also goes with the book theme so this was a good box i mean i don't know i feel like i repeat myself a lot um with the boxes because i can't really say not sure the last time I had like a disappointing box, you know, I enjoy these things. Um, but I don't know, it's just more stuff to add to my collection, I guess. Like the Shea Butter I will be glad to use because it is getting cooler here and I'm getting a little drier skin-wise. Um, but yeah, sorry, sorry for rambling a bit at the end here. But yeah, that was this month's box. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're interested in receiving fairy loot boxes, fairy, yeah, fairy loot boxes, um, check out their website. If you're interested in maybe taking a closer sneak peek or getting my later thoughts on this, um, I will link my blog below and I will have a post up there shortly to kind of take a closer look at these things. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you back here later. Bye.